Hey there fellow creators, welcome to another exciting journey into the world of Unreal Engine. Today we're diving into the captivating realm of volumetric clouds. Get ready to unlock the secrets behind this stunning visual effect and discover how you can bring realistic and dynamic skies to life in your projects. No more dull and static backgrounds, it's time to soar through the virtual heavens with the power of volumetric clouds. So let's dive in and I want to start with changing the position of the camera that I got here to cover the clouds in a way to see the difference because we're going to change the parameters, some of the important parameters that we got on this volumetric cloud effect that we got in this project. So let me just select it from the outliner section. But before we continue, let me just show you the path to add this volumetric cloud effect to your project. It's right here. So you can simply drag it to your project and have it. So let's go on and see the first parameter that we got here. It's layer bottom altitude. And this parameter sets the altitude or height at which the bottom layer of the volumetric clouds begins. It determines the starting point for the clouds formation, allowing you to position them at a specific height above the ground or other objects in the scene. And you can see how changing the value affects the clouds that we got here. And the next parameter is layer height. And this parameter controls the vertical extent or thickness of the volumetric clouds it specifies the distance between the bottom and top layers of the clouds, influencing their overall volume and presence in the scene. And I think in this case, it would be okay to set it on two or maybe three or something between them. And after that, we got this tracing start maximum distance. And this parameter defines the maximum distance from the camera at which ray tracing calculations for the volumetric clouds will begin. And it helps optimize performance by limiting the tracing calculations to a certain distance from the viewer's perspective. And it has kind of a circular calculations. And right now I am setting the radius of this circle and I think 350 would be perfect. After that, we have a parameter called tracing max distance mode. And this parameter determines how the maximum tracing distance for the volumetric clouds is calculated. And we have two options here, the calculations from the entry point or from point of view, which in this case, the first mode would be okay. And let's move on. And I want to introduce you a new realm of possibilities and making differences on this volumetric clouds. And it's right here in the material section of this visual effect. And you can see that we have a bunch of parameters that we could make changes on them, tweak on them, and see what works better for our projects. And let me just put this window somewhere to not disturb us as we are going to change the parameters of this material. I think this spot is okay. And first of all, we got this base noise parameter, which controls the exponents or intensity of the base noise pattern used in the volumetric cloud material, influencing the overall texture and detail. And as you can see, how changing the value of this parameter affects the overall pattern of the clouds. And after that, we got the base noise scale, which adjusts the scale or size of the base noise pattern applied to the volumetric cloud material and affecting the frequency and pattern of the noise. And in this case, I think the value of 0.06 would be okay. And next we have the beer powder and it modulates the density or opacity of the volumetric clouds simulating the effect of light scattering and absorption within the cloud volume. And after that, we have the power of beer powder, which sets the strength or power of the beer powder parameter that reminds the extent of light attenuation and scattering within the volumetric clouds. And next we have the erosion noise scale, 
which controls the scale or size of the erosion noise pattern used to create realistic cloud formations and shapes and influencing the overall structure and appearance. And if you want to see how it works, you have to set it to lower amounts like 0.0001 or something like that. And the erosion scale adjusts the intensity or magnitude of the erosion effect applied to the volumetric cloud material, determining the level of detail and sculpting with the clouds. After that, we got the extinction scale, which modifies the fading or extinction of light passing through the volumetric clouds, affecting the overall visibility and transparency of the cloud volume. And finally, we got this noise height exponential parameters, which controls the overall height and variation of the cloud formations. And adjusting this value allows you to create anything from low dense clouds to towering and majestic cloudscapes, adding depth and realism to your virtual skies. And there you have it, my friends. We've explored the mesmerizing world of Unreal Engine's volumetric cloud effect and delved into the key parameters that bring these ethereal skies to life. I hope you've enjoyed this journey of discovery and that you feel empowered to create your own breathtaking cloudscapes. Remember, the sky is the limit when it comes to your creativity. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your own cloud creations with our growing community. Together, let's continue to unlock the full potential of Unreal Engine and happy cloud sculpting.